You know, I think it makes the A-10 as strong as it's been in a long, long time. Um, you got two potential, or, you know, former Final Four teams uh, that bring in a high level of uh, basketball. So uh, the A-10 was already uh, top to bottom a tough conference where any given night, you know, anybody can, you know, beat anybody else. But now you're adding, you know, two more talented teams, and that's just going to up the ante, you know, from one night to the next. And so probably will result in a higher RPI for the conference at the end of the year. And for us, you know, we're in a unique position because we're transitioning out of it. And so um, we want to make sure that we finish the way we want to and, and max ourselves out. Uh, we have a young team, but we have some experience as well. And I think uh, we have a chance to, to have a, a really special finish at the end of the year. So um, it, it really makes for us, it's a unique dynamic, you know, uh, with teams coming in and us being on the way out. But uh, for the league, it's going to be tremendous. You know, we want to continue to uh, make him a primary, you know, scorer in the post. Uh, he's a three-year starter, so you got a guy that's got a lot of experience. You want him to continue on that, that level of being consistent. Uh, you want him to use his experience and, and share that experience with our younger players. And then the third thing is we want him to continue to, to round his game out individually. Now, a lot of times people think a senior, uh, because they've had so much production over the course of time, that, that they can't get any better. And uh, a lot of times that becomes little things that they can improve to, to get better. So we'll continue to demand that of Chris and make sure that he finishes uh, playing his best b basketball that he's played at Charlotte. And number one, I know they fully expect to be here. And uh, after being here now, I get to go back and tell them how nice it is. So uh, the aspect of, of making sure that we take care of our business from now till then and get to that point. Uh, but I know they fully expect to be playing here in March. So do I. And, um, you know, being in this venue, now that I've seen it, uh, we, we've got Bob Katarina back home. So our guys have been in there and we'll be playing in there in, in December against Florida State. So they'll get a little bit of a taste of an NBA arena. Uh, but that'll be nice because, you know, now you get another chance to come back and play in one at the end of the year, which would be great. You know, it's unique because, um, you know, normally we would have three teams that we partner with and you knew you were going to play three different teams twice. And now that's changed because there's only one team that you're partnering with and you play everybody else one time. So, um, you know, obviously uh, we'll have VCU at home. We'll play at Butler on the road, which would be a, uh, a tremendously tough game. But we know that. Um, and we'll play Temple twice. That happens to be our partner, so we'll play them both uh, at our place and theirs. So uh, it, you know, what it'll do is it'll really add for some unique like single game matchups, no matter who they are, uh, because you know you won't be playing you know, another team two times. So I, I don't know if I could put my finger on one in particular, uh, because the, that's the beauty of the A-10. I mean, any given night, anybody can, can uh, knock the other team off. So. This is going to make for some great individual matchups throughout the season.